Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Battletech the Campaign. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 63, the Bull Shark episode. Um, we're just out looking for some contracts to fill, get some money. I thought I'd show off the Bull Shark that we got last episode. It'd be kind of fun. We're going to do this mission called Distraction for the Pirates uh, because the salvage is so good. It's just a battle. So... We need to draw off local government patrol so that we can move into the base unopposed and load the goods that are working for the pirates. So we're going to grab maximum amount of salvage. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to replace our Highlander with our brand new spanking bull shark, which should be a lot of fun. Slice, you're going to drive that thing. Glitch has high spirits because of an event that happened while we were traveling, so that's going to be fantastic. This is in the Badlands, which is kind of warm. So Behemoth and, and Medusa are going to run the Atlas and the Annihilator for heat reasons. And in case they need to make use of that particular ability to vent their heat. Badlands 5 Skull difficulty. We'll see how it goes. But hopefully we'll get a chance to show off this mechs, this bull sharks. Um, very large artillery shot. It can be fired twice. There is a cool down period on it. But what's really neat about it is it does quite a bit of damage. And if you if you shoot it to where it lands behind the targets, it does the damage to their, their rear armor. And for smaller mechs, it can just completely wipe them out very quickly. So Time to start the party commander. Target should be somewhere in this vicinity. And they will call for reinforcements. What is this? This is, a hell hole. this is that map we've seen a hundred times where, you know, we come out here and this is usually used as an assassin map. And the assassin is over here. And so they've, these maps are pretty big and they take sections of them, it looks like, and then use them in different ways. So now we're over here on this section of the map, which is very cool. The destroy enemy. Let's see, where are the boundary walls? That's what you always need to know because that tells you a little bit about where reinforcements are going to come from. And make sure you don't get anything behind you. Uh, we want to go up in this direction. But I kind of want to sneak around over here. Come in through this way and use some of this mountains and terrain and trees for cover. So we'll do that. We'll go this way. And then if there is any reinforcements in waiting... On my way! force on the way there maybe we'll run into them as well maybe they have reinforcements see here's the boundary line here so reinforcements might even come from up here on this hill and come down trying to backstab us back there we'll see how this all works out on the move don't need to tell me twice the bull shock just a whole lot of fun for a mech a neat old mech. Star League tech. Destroy the enemy patrol. There will be reinforcements. The question is whether there's going to be way. one lance of reinforcements or two. Heading out. Glitch. Can you just... Oh yeah, it works like that. Okay, go like this. I read you, like to get her in cover in case something decides to try to shoot at her first. What do we have? We know we got an assault class mech, it looks like. We just don't know what now. else we have. What do we got? In my career mode towards the end, probably for the last 300 days, I actually had three marauders in my base, and I had two of them that I was using on a regular basis. I was basically going out with an Annihilator, an Atlas II, and two marauders, and just working to headshot everything. And, uh, it was quite the good time. If we get up here, how far up here do we have to be before he sees us? Right there. So if we move one more slot up, we get two evasion. Out. And it's a battle master. And there's two mechs over here. There's a 75 ton mech and a 95 ton mech. So he's got no evasion on him. Commander. But there's nobody else threatening right now. Move into position. So we'll just have her shoot a bunch of bullets at him. If she does a precise strat, her chances of hitting in the head are only 18%. I kind of would like to see what would happen with that, though. 
means probably one of these ultra auto cannons might hit it in the face. And not my luck. Oh, and now he's gonna run away. Coward. Oh, I should have went at you with glitch then. What's up, boss? Okay. If he sprints, he can get four, three evasion there. Right. Affirmative. He's got the best armor, so I kind of want him to hang tough right there. How many enemies do we have? Glitch, glitch, or do? Can you sprint up here? Mm, you can, but I don't know if that's going to help you. I want her elevated so she can see everybody on both sides of those hills. Hot damn. Okay, which one of you guys going to come running? I feel like they're setting us up for something here. Standing what are they by. doing? Are they setting us up for somebody to come over here? There's other mechs out there. So there's a whole other reinforcement lance that's coming. They're just not there yet. Okay, there we go. What was that little mech? I didn't get to see. It's obviously not a catapult. What is it? It's an Orion. Okay. Ready for orders. So the Atlas can take a shot at it if it wants to. If it wants to move there. Okay. So it can't get a direct shot at it at all. All it can do is launch LRMs. If it goes there. Coordinates received. Okay. Well. Take off its evasion then. Let's give Glitch the best possible shot we can. These guys have all spread out now because they saw the bull shark. Yes, They're like, whoa, we ain't letting that thing happen. Um, she's not going to move. He can scooch up here. A scooch me. He can take that last evasion off of there. Roger. And probably do quite a bit of damage too while he's at it. Uh, yeah, just... Acknowledged. I mean, I got no problem if it, if it hits it in the face and kills it. He says, I'm coming back. Okay. Oh, and that, that wasted a lot of... A lot of heat for him. Okay, what do you got? You got a really good chance to kill him, not as good of a chance to kill him, so we'll do this. Plunk. Right in the chest. That hurt. Yeah, here it comes. Yep, something else. They were over there. Now they're closing in. Okay. Well then. We've got our and you still aren't in a position where you can see anybody from there. Okay, so if you move up to there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Let's do this. It's go time, it's go time she says. Here's something else walking and firing. I'm so glad you're on the ball with that, Darius, because um, Good to go. I was confused as to what was going on here. <laughs> Clown. All right, see if you can kill it now. You know what? Well, let's make this easy. We're, we're, we have enough blips now that uh, when you had we the don't chance. need to worry about that. Oh, they have all the LRMs, the second group does. Of course they do. Well, let's kill all these people who can see us then as fast as possible. The Banshee. The Banshees always look great. I'm glad he missed with both of those things. Okay, you've got no more evasion, do you? Standing by. The Annihilator can move. He's got a really good chance to poke Sorry. holes in both of these guys. What do you got? You can nail him. Oh, and it's low percentage chance to shoot him. 
What's your odds of hitting him in the face? 18? Taking the shot. Called shot, head exposed, I think. Let's take a look at him here in a second. The, uh, the bull shark can move over here. Roger that. What's he look like? Oh, he didn't get hit in the face at all. You still have a really good chance, though. You got a bunch of weapons. Nope, didn't do it. Knocked him down, though. Eighteen percent, just really low. That's why. Gotta have the Marauder. It's the beast. So you want to shoot my Atlas? Armor smelting off. Oh, it is not. Waiting for orders. Don't be so melodramatic. Position confirmed. That guy can be hit with a medium laser, and it doesn't mean anything. It's a strip and evasion off for next turn when we get the Marauder on it. So we're gonna do that because we're gonna put everything else on dude on the ground. Firing. PPC destroyed. All we're doing there is stealing an evasion from him. Ninety ton mech is a cyclops. Says, I have all kinds of goodies for you, Mr. Atlas. So we have a choice here with Glitch. Do we want to shoot this Cyclops? Or do we want to shoot this guy who has... Bulwark on? It's going to make it harder to penetrate. Waiting for all these guys to get clustered together so that I can use my thing. Um, glitch, where are you? Who can, who can you shoot? So if you do... He's a 90, 95, 95. He's not as good, and he's on the ground. Okay, shoot this dude right in the face. Oh, that's it. Wasn't it? Didn't that hit him in the face? Oh, I thought that hit him in the face. I thought that did it. Okay, here comes another one. Yes, you're going to keep shooting at that guy, I can tell. I know. Okay, now for the bull shark. Bull shark is right here. Just want to kind of get him turned a little bit. He's going to launch the Thumper Canyon because he can hit three guys. And he might be able to finish off this guy on the ground with it. So, you get to see it for the first time. Boom. This thing is awesome. Boom. There it goes. Destroyed him. Very nice. Did him, got a bunch of damage on these other guys. Great stuff. Um, the Atlas. We can move into the trees. Roger. We're not going to shoot anybody in the face now, so I'm going to give him vigilance for a little extra defense. He's going to shoot his auto cannon at that guy, and he's going to shoot something to peel off evasion with him, probably the medium laser. So. That's its that's its skill. Flooding fire. That guy's got all the heat. He's probably gonna run over here and try to punch my atlas. So if I don't want him to punch my atlas, I need to shoot him now. I need to knock him on Just the ground. Targeting. Although he's gonna get a move, isn't he? Yeah, he's gonna do it. Oh no, he's just gonna shoot at the bull shark. Okay. Well that makes things easier. In this case, that is very nice. What do you got? 95, 95, 95? Coordinates received. It's like my grades in middle school. Oh, I can't believe that didn't kill him. That hit oh, him. that's awesome how tough he is. Because that was, that was pretty major. That was a pretty major punch in the face. Barely hit. The Cyclops says I'm going to move a little bit after shooting because I need some evasion. You guys have Marauder. Shoot me in the face. This is probably an Orion. I would guess. Glitch. Can you shoot? You can, but here's the problem. 
is that you can shoot him, but it's not a face shot. It's a side it. shot. So it does us no good. So you might as well go over here and make use of your facial recognition software and put it right there. This should be good. Yep. Oh, come on, tell me that I finished him off. Yeah, good job. Dang, you're dead. Yes, you are. So now the three of us up here can shoot at the Cyclops and probably finish him off. And these guys play tiddlywinks. It's probably a Zeus. Maybe. Orders. Alright, so the Atlas gave itself some defense so that it could move this turn. I could move up there, but I don't want to do that. What I want to do is kind of move out of the way. I don't want those guys to have an easy shot at us. So he's going to have really crappy shots. We're not going to use that. We're not going to use the ghost because he's probably going to miss. We're just going to do this. Just trying to remove evasion for everybody else. There's another mech out there, isn't there? Yep, another one. Okay, so there's three more left. The bull shark can come over here and do this as well. I could try to shoot you in the face. It's 18% for all these different weapons. It looked like something hit him in the face. Oh, it did. He got a head injury, but it wasn't enough. Orders. He's going to go up here and take cover. And he's going to finish this fool off. Take that one off. Take some heat off. Oh, and that didn't get him either. Think I hit something it looked like it was hitting him in the face. Man. It's like, I still have LRMs. Yeah, but you didn't move, buddy. Okay, move up here. Who are you? Oh, are there. Destroy enemy patrol one left, and then destroy enemy reinforcements all of them left. So, Lots of armor. There, yeah, there's four of them. Okay. Glitch. Glitch, you gotta get out of there. Can you? If you go up there, you get locked. You get landlocked. What if you just sprint out here? Okay. You got heat problems anyways, so. You gotta be able to headshot these next people. That's the most important part. Hopefully they'll all get clustered together. And then we can use our cannon one more time. It's got a two, three turn cooldown, something like that. Cannoning all of them would be great. Um, Ready for order. I'm just going to have him shoot again. And then he can cool down. Finish him. Finish him. Roger that. Oh, Hell there we yeah. go. That's what I want. That is what I want. Oh, okay, now they can't see us. So they're going to be forced to move. Oh, and there's the Alice. He can see us. I mean, the awesome. So now somebody can see us. Okay, well, I was hoping to stay out of being seen for a little bit but that's not gonna happen what do we got we got a Zeus I was right about that Zeus goose this is 80 oh wow you can just unload on him um, unload on the Zeus then what are your odds of hitting him in the face not very good 18 all right let's see head destroyed you got him oh my gosh You got him. Wow. Amazing. Target well, that was... I didn't even need to use all that stuff. How's it going? Bull Shark says... I can do lots of things, too. Confirm. Where are you at? You're at... Thumper Canyon can be used, and if we used it, we could hit all three of these people. Um, the odds are they're going to move. So I'm just going to do that. Because the odds are they're going to spread out even further. And then, and then you'd only be hitting two of them. And you're going to hit him in the back, which is awesome. Like Donkey Kong. And there was an Orion, just like I guessed. Yeah. You can shoot at my bull shot, but... It's not going to help you. Oh, they don't like me at all. Well, you're the one with the Thumper Cannon. Waiting for orders. The Thumper Cannon. Um, glitch, get up here. What can you do? You can see people from there. Good. Next turn, you can shoot at him. 
He's moving up here. What was that? I missed it. Was it another? What was that? Waiting for orders. The Annihilator. So we have the Atlas. The Atlas has. I'd like to move this Atlas even closer to get a back shot on him, but it's not going to happen. So what I'd like to do is this. Confirm. He's going to kind of go out in front. What do we have here? We got two awesomes awesome and awesome um could potentially shoot one of them in the legs and knock it over i kind of like that plan let's let's we got a couple of aimed shots left here so who has the best shots him and him it doesn't matter he's got less evasion so do him 89 copy that Yeah, so there goes his left leg. He'll be on the ground. Solid connection on that one. That makes him a little bit less agile. So, gotta get up. Gotta turn. Gotta shoot. Well, oh, he stray shot at all of them, stray shot, and it hit the bull shark. Oh, that's yes, funny. Um, who's left? I got the bull shark who needs to do something. He's going to do this. Vigilance so he doesn't get knocked over. And then I think the best thing for him to do is just attack that guy. Can he move? Does he need to move to be able to see him? If he moves like that so I gotta I gotta choose shoot at that guy or shoot at this guy there are much better shots over here so I'm gonna shoot at this guy go yeah hit that other leg that'd be great one of them did all right what do we have left not enough for you to do anything interesting so let's just split you're going to shoot a couple at him and one at him. Like this. Affirmative. Oh, you got him. Wiped out his torso. Wiped out his arm and then hit his torso. It was like, oopsies. Okay, you're going to come up. That's great. Do that. I think Glitch may be able to shoot you from there. Took a hard hit there. So she's going to have... Yeah. She's got this, so she can choose, but it's a side shot on the on the awesome, so we'd rather shoot him in the face. So take him out. I've always been really good at shooting Orion's. Yeah, right there. That one landed in the face. Didn't quite kill him, though. Not enough. Now the awesome's going to turn around and say, you shot my awesome friend. Oh, my goodness. You always say that, and then it isn't. And then it isn't major armor loss. It's just armor loss. Shoot him in the face. Yeah, see, he's got a good chance to kill him. Yeah, he did. The large laser did it. Hit him right in the chest, because it was already so weak. I kind of like that configuration. It's kind of badass. I'm just going to stay here with my protection. I'm going to coolant vent so I can shoot my entire wad over here. Oh, yes, hurt him. Hurt him good. Scored a critical hit. Okay, and then Atlas. Yeah, you're just there, aren't you? Same thing, just shoot at him. Finish him off. All weapons, fire. You knock him over. Nope, destroyed him. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's a kill. Well, we're going to get a lot of pieces out of that. That was nice. So, good payday there. But you got to see the bull shark. I made sure to fire that ballistic weapon, that mortar, twice. It's very nice. Very nice. Against smaller mechs, when you're. It's one of the nice things about having a bull shark is sometimes you get those missions where they got little mechs running around. So you end up with the locusts and the spiders and things like that. And you just launch that mortar right behind them and. Their back armor can't handle it. It completely destroys them. And, it's, and sometimes even medium mechs will do that on. So it's very nice. Very nice weapon. Um, 
Okay. Two awesomes. This is what? The 8Q? Two of those give me a completed awesome to sell. Um, Battlemaster. I can sell a whole Battlemaster because I headshot him. I'm going to grab... Let's see. I can complete an Orion. And then, oh, look, you look, you look. Ooh. Lots of, lots of weapons here. Oh, my goodness. So much good stuff. Oh, geez. Our mod. They never got close enough to use that, did they? Rangefinder. TTS. This is a TTS Plus for Ballistic, which is the same one we just picked up a little while ago. So there are lots of good loot. Let's see how much we're going to get. Um, I think what I'm going to do in this last slot, then, is take the Cyclops. 36 million. Got a lot of that. We got the AC 10. Some decent stuff. PPC with four accuracy in it. It would have been nice to have all that. Jeez. 31 pieces, though. That's pretty good. That's pretty fancy. So let's see if we can find one more mission here. That might be easy. That can earn us a bunch of scratch. And then we'll go fly it. Because what, what I've been trying to do, let me explain my process here. What I've been trying to do is fly around. Because the passage of time causes flashpoints to go away. Just stick them in storage. So it causes these flashpoints to go away. So at any point in time, fly, five flashpoints can be active. So you see there's one there, one there. One there, one there, and one there. So there's the five. And in order to get, I think in order to get the DLC one from Heavy Metal to spawn again, one of these guys has to go away. So this one's going to go off in 36 days. And this one, let's see. This one, yeah, 36 days for that one. Where, oh, this is the one down here. 53 days for that one. This is 69 days for that one. This is really close by, and it's 131 days. It's going to be there for a while. And this one over here is really cool. It's going to go in 71 days. This is a prototype. This gives you the Raven, which has stealth technology. And then what happens is after you get the Raven, the other default mech that that stealth technology will show up in, this, this protective shield that uh, makes you non-targetable to range weapons as long as you're inside it at the end of a turn, it starts to show up on a, a special kind of cataphract. So that... That becomes a nice mech to have. So 36 days, I think is what I said, or 39 days over here. 36 days. In 36 days, that one's going to go away. And I think that will automatically spawn then somewhere down here, the uh, Heavy Metal DLC one that we're doing, the Black Widow thing. Um, so, but in the meantime, let's check contracts. I want to do one more to earn a little bit more scratch. A favor to regret, which is just, a, again, a straight up battle or territorial claims destroy base. I don't care about that so much. So this is this would be nice. High tonnage merit lance will shortly make planet fall. So let's go blow them up. Again, take max max salvage. We'll take our same group of people. It's in the badlands. There's a heat problem, so behemoth and medusa will do those. That was nice of her to be able to fire off a um, coolant vent toward the end. I like having that just as a as exactly how it got used in that last mission. As a, oh, I really need to fire all my weapons one more time. And you can do it. I've tried pretty much every other combination of... Uh, pilot that there is there's 16 combinations because there's four skills four skill trees i i think there's 16 combinations and um what i found is that for my playstyle, i like the lancer the most the lancers are awesome i like being able to split i like having breaching shot and i like having bulwark for defense and it's like all that. This is interesting. This is a big flat open area here with cover here. See if you have medium mechs down here, you can with jump jets, you can jump up here, shoot, jump back. <laughs> I saw a guy on YouTube do this, showed how to get the double turns if you have lighter mechs than your enemy. So he had a bunch of medium mechs with jump jets, and he had four heavy mechs on this side. And uh, he would reserve 
past the heavy's turns and none of them were having jump jets and jumping up here so then he'd jump up here shoot then because they were medium mechs he'd get a shoot again if he wanted to on uh, on the next turn and finish off one of the heavies um, it was really interesting to watch him do that I'm trying to think do we want to we can't go up here we can't go up that way this way is blocked off there's some elevation and some cover over here and some rough terrain for them over here which would if they are walking in this direction and they come over here in this rough terrain it makes their instability they'll fall down even easier from our shots up here in this cover so that's my thought process is let's go over there we'll go over in this direction We'll try to take advantage of the fact that there's cover and elevation here, and they will fall down easier here and over there. Yep. And I thought I heard the sounds of vehicles. Position confirmed. Move order received. Not sure yet what we're hearing. Let's see what. Yep, I hear vehicles over here. So there are reinforcements coming from this direction, which was the other direction we could have gone, except for there was, there's no, there was, you had to go back around this wall and go up this way. So by virtue of going over here, we're going to avoid that. Heading out. Affirmative. Okay. Let's see what we have over here. We got one mech. It's a 95 tonner. It's probably a banshee. When, after you get the bull shark, it can now re randomly show up as an enemy. Um, the one time I had it show up in my career, and I managed to headshot it and collect it, it didn't have the mortar though. So it, it was nice to have a bull shark, but it didn't have the mortar. And so it was kind of like, hmm. You can also buy a mortar separately from stores if you can find it. It's really rare. Um, and then you can put it on any mech you want to, but it only fires one time. It's not the same as this special bull shark here, which can fire this mortar twice. So there's a smaller mech over there. There's a big heavy there. That's not a bull shark. It had a, I mean, it's not a banshee because it had a ballistic weapon. What is it? Let me see. It. Oh, no, it is a banshee. It's the 3S has the ballistic on it. Yeah, it's the 3S and it has it has the shoulder mounted slot for missiles. Yeah, that's the good one. That's the one you can put all kinds of weapons on. So there's another one down here, 90 tons and 95 tons. So let's do this. Ready for order. We're gonna get one headshot. On you, Commander. So I want to put it Moving out. on glitch, because she's gonna have the best chance to do it. I'm not going to shoot that auto cannon. I'm going to save it. There's going to be reinforcements. And if some of them are cars, that auto cannon can mow through most of them because it's a double auto cannon. So it's pretty awesome. So glitch. Try to shoot this thing in the face. It'd be great if you could take him out. Oh, yeah. That helps. I love it when that happens. Okay, so that changes the complexion of things a little bit. Um, he can see from there and there and there. I kind of want to get him up here. Turn left. That way he can move forward next turn and get some evasion and move forward into the cover, into this cover, and shoot. Same thing with this guy. I want him in position to be able to move into the cover and shoot. So... Like this. Understood. Moving fast. Give them everything you've got. I can still hear all those cars over here. Right in here somewhere. They're gonna be coming down here soon. So he doesn't want to mess with that instability, does he? <laughs> he doesn't want. He's like, this is all un uneven ground over here, and this guy's over here standing in it. He's like, I don't want to fall down. I can hear these cars. Yeah, the tanks and the trucks and they probably all have like PPCs and stuff. They're going to shoot at us from a mile away. Okay, so the Atlas has the best chance here to move up. He's going to be able to see both of them. Another Banshee. 
and a Cyclops. Okay, so all he can do is he can just pick one. And I'm going to have him pick this guy because everything's going to fire on him. Yeah, let's do it. Right there in that shoulder. Okay. Good to go. Glitch. How I far up you. can you move? Right there and you can shoot him. Good. I read you, it's the only shot Go you ahead. have. So we'll do this. We'll give her this shot. We'll see if she can end him like she did the other Banshee. She did. Oh, I thought that was going to do it. He's got Bulwark and Guarded up though. So that's why it didn't punch all the way through. So that's the problem Commander. with that. This thing... Go right up here. Now, what he can do is try to finish it off. Because, look, it, there's how much armor? 13. Oh, my gosh. Just get lucky. One bullet needs to hit it. Oh, it knocked him over, though. One of those bullets had to hit him in the face, and it was going to be all over for him. But it didn't happen. Okay, you, in that case, you can't get far enough up there to shoot at him, can you? Because none of your weapons work that far. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to have you move to there and buckle up, buttercup. Let's hit him hard. So what do we have that's medium? Some kind of tank? We got the Cyclops. Z Annihilator. So, so I've only seen the three mechs, and the Lance has four. Where is that fourth one at? Where is it at? Glitch. Waiting for orders. Can you see? Yeah, you can shoot that guy right there. That's what I want you to do. Or you can even shoot both from there. You betcha. You'd have your pick. She's gonna try to shoot the Cyclops in the head, though. Right there. Oh, if the second one would have hit. Oh, darn. Okay. Here they come. They're getting really close. They're getting louder. The cause. A little Rick Okasic. Or Okasic. However you pronounce his name. I used to listen to the cars when I was in middle school. I wore that tape out. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with the bull shark here and I'm going to take this and try to shoot this thing in the head. On the offhand chance that I can do it. Oh, he put the laser right in his head. Oh, he got a head hit, but he couldn't finish it off. Okay, that one's going to get up. We're just going to shoot at him with the annihilator. And... Yeah, he's got that Excedrin headache. He says, I need a Tylenol. So I got what? I got the Atlas, and I got this guy. I'm going to put him right in front of there. A little cover. Say, shoot. I can shoot everything at one of you guys, or I can shoot one at each of you. Why don't I shoot everything at you? Let's see what happens. On the ground. That's nice for him. That helps him out. Can become one with the earth. The Atlas doesn't even need to move. He can just shoot everything at this guy. Um, yeah, try to take this Banshee out. You missed. Likes that shoulder though. Let's get this done, folks. Oh, yeah. So little mini cars. Oh, they're gonna shoot at my Murata. That's a that's an awesome. Or it's a car. I've got eyes yep. on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Thanks, Darius. I've only been listening to him for like the last five turns. Um, Good to go. Glitch, just do your best job. Try to get him this time. He has again thirteen is all he has. And he has no armor. There you go. Good job. One of those lasers hit. That's what I I agree. Hell yeah. Did you see that? Did you see it? 
I'm curious about what this fourth mech in this lance is, though, because we haven't seen it. Was it hanging out with the reinforcements the whole time? He's like, man, that uneven ground sucked. I did end up on my butt. Yes, yes, you did. And are they coming? Are they going to show up? Are they ever going to show up? I don't know. I don't see them. Snee them. There's a mech, 90 tons. Probably another Cyclops, maybe? Could be something else. Standing by. Bull shark. All right, I'm gonna try to shoot him in the face because he's all, same kind of thing. He's got 11 damage. He's got 11 protection left. That did it, didn't it? Yep. I thought I saw one of those pieces through that brush hit him in the head. Yep. Okay, so that's got to be the other mech in the lance. That guy down there. Um, yes, Commander. The Atlas, you're a little hot. So if I move you to like right there. And then I tell the Annihilator to also move down to right there. He's a little he's a little out of the way. What do we have there? Was that a Cyclops? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I like the sounds of that. Glitch, you're going to get a shot to shoot this thing. But you're going to have to reserve first. So here the cars are finally showing up. 60 tons, 80 tons. Yep, another Cyclops. Okay. Oh, shot my annihilator. My armor's getting stripped off. Oh well, that's what it's there for. What did you think it was there for? Ready for order. Um, Good to go. I think what I want to do Move is have position. this guy use this to try to shoot it in the head. And then if he misses, Glitch can do it. And then we'll have the Annihilator and the Atlas take these guys out with their big guns. Hit him in the head. Nope. Everywhere but the head. Okay. Glitch. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah. Just take your best shot. You to tell me twice. Fire away. Boom. Out of the lights. Oh, I love it when it goes for their little domed head like that. You can see it driving right in. It's almost like their little helmet sucks that thing right in. I've had such success shooting the Gauss rifle at their heads with a with a Marauder. It's been pretty awesome. Um, okay, yeah. So the Annihilator is going to waltz up here and say, who's the most damaging? There's an Inferno carrier, which would suck. And then there's a Shrek PPC character. He is 270. And this is a lot, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna split. We're gonna go A, B, B. Do it. Roger that. Yep, that's what I like seeing. Oh, good job. Good job. Those things are gonna have to move. I'm not even sure I wanna try to get that. Yeah, the Atlas. Would it would take something to get it out there, so let's do this. On my way. Double. Let's do that. This should be easy. This has been an easy mission. Haven't even got to really fire the the big gun on the bull shark. Didn't need it. Shrek PPC carrier. Yes, you can go up here. Roger that. You got what? PPC carrier and a PPC carrier. So you, all you're going to do is just split. Kind of the same thing we did last time. Splitting fire. That kills that one. Good job. You guys are my homies. Very nice. So, very, very, very nice. I like that. I like that a lot. So that'll earn us some scratch so that we can fly around. That was what I was saying earlier. Is what I'm just going to fly around until flashpoints go away and the new one pops. And when it does, we will go fight the Black Widow. Banshee, Banshee, Banshee. This is the 3E and this is the 3S. The 3S was uh, the good one because this is the one that had ballistic weapons. And this is... Oh, this one also has ballistic weapons. Which one is the really good one then? Hmm. Well, I don't know. 
I don't have memorized. This one has... Oh, yeah, this one because the 3S has LRMs on it as well. Yeah. So you can at least put an LRM20 on it and make it reasonable. There's nothing else in here. I mean, they're all... They're all great. I just don't have enough room for all of them. So I have to hope I get lucky. Bunch of PPCs. Wow. Arm mods. Leg mods. Okay. Let's just pick one then. We'll go with uh, the heaviest thing here. The other Banshee. Let's see if we get lucky. Banshee 3E, 3E, 3SSS. Part of the Cyclops. Part of the other Cyclops. Pretty good. Pretty good haul. Pretty decent. Those turn into, we've we've acquired some mechs just in these last couple of missions here. So that'll sell us and keep us full. Because flying around trying to get the flashpoints to despawn and spawn is expensive. <laughs> you know, it's like a, a 1.5 million a month or whatever, including flight costs. You got to keep paying your crew and stuff. So we're done here. I'm, that's all I'm gonna do there. I just wanted to do those two missions. I wanted to show the bull shark up. I hope you guys dug it. We're gonna we're gonna go for the black widow next time. Probably with this group, um, with these mechs, and then just try to stay out of the way. Here's the really hard part, and I'm gonna look for a marauder here and there, isn't it? Here's the really hard part about this next mission. Is that you have to send one mech close enough to trigger them, which then causes the bounty hunter to drop down as well. And that means some of their mechs are going to shoot at your mech. And the fast one that we have is the Marauder. If she runs out there and gets shot at, she's going to get really hurt. But the problem is you try to go... The, the, other, the other way to do it is go in there with like a Phoenix Hawk that's going to have a really high evasion and some jump jets and basically just use it just for the trigger and then try to get it out of the way. But then you're basically fighting three mechs on eight, uh, which I'm not very excited about. So I'm going to try to figure it out. I've done it a couple different ways. One way I succeeded, one way I didn't. I don't have that cataphract with the, with the stealth this time. So we're going to figure it out. Thanks for watching. As always, if you guys dig the episodes, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. And if you want to support the channel, my Patreon is listed in the link. I'll see you below. Thanks. Bye.